This is 30 yards, zero check. Let's see where I'm at, shooting my M60B. I gotta adjust my windage. The other way. Too much. Okay, let's do a fascia group. 30 yards. Three. Four. Five. So that's the M60B shooting the NSA 17.5 grain slugs. At 30 yards, okay. 113 yards. Got it on. Oh, nails it! 113 yards. I'm just to be. Hello, welcome to Air Rifle Pesting. Just started here uh, at the starting farm, Snow Peak M60B for the first time uh, doing long distance. Uh, so today I'm just going to designate my shoot today with this gun and uh, see if I can get a, a, a full video for you guys to watch. So, so far it's been very accurate. There's no wind today, I check, or at least I, I dial in for my windage. So it's hitting where I'm aiming so far, so thank goodness. Um, I actually hit 112 yards starling. I got to confirm that with my footage. Yeah, so excellent, but unfortunately overcast, the rain is coming down now. Uh, I might have to escape a little bit inside my truck and wait it out. So, but uh, definitely um, exciting. Um, looking forward to it. So, like I said, the uh, Snow Peak is shooting the NSA 17.5 grain slugs. The 17.5 grain, yeah, and is a 0.217 uh, head size. Seems to work really good in this gun. Yeah. So so far, I'm I'm quite happy with the M60B. So, like I said before, I took it out mainly target shooting just to find the point of impact and all that stuff and then i did have a couple of shot last time i was here uh shot one at 45 and i shot one at 88 and so today it's basically confirmed that uh, it is capable at uh, long range like this out to 100 yards even under 112 yards so very good um definitely a keeper this thing is starting on the ground 88 let's see if we can get one Forty-five. Ah, oh, shot low. That was a bad miss. Oh well, can't get them all. I wish I'd have got that one. That was uh, forty-three yards. So I might have might have missed a high or low. I can't remember. Anyway, hundred and twelve. Oh yes, sir. Hundred and twelve yards starting. Just tagged another starling at 112 yards. That's great. This this M60B is no joke. <sighs> yeah, I, I have no wind, so I'm sure there's some wind up there. Yeah, I have to check my footage to see if I push it left or right. Unfortunately, I didn't see where the uh, slug went. So most of the time, it's just just uh, an estimate. Uh, if I guess it right, then I get it done. Get my job done and hit the target <laughs> that's shooting in the, in the wind. You never know. It's not, um, at least this gun is new to me. 
so I'm not um, I don't have enough experience shooting it just yet so I think the more time I put in the more I understand how this gun behave then it, just like my impact I, I will get it dialed in and then I'll be more confident shooting consistently hopefully um, as long as there's no changes to the temperature or to the speed of my the gun shooting the slug that I'm shooting then everything should be should be good beautiful day today starlings everywhere doves as well this guy's gonna land at 50 yes he is And down he goes. Mm, the cat saw me just shot a starling. She's going to go fetch it. Good girl. I seen you before. Last year. Yes. I shot a starling and then she pounced on it in one of my videos. It's there somewhere. It fell. Like a 45 yards uh, starling that I shot. It's there somewhere. Okay, now she finds it. Good girl. There you go. The two of them. Silly. Oh, still alive, that starling. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Yeah, she's watching me. Yeah, that's me. I got you the lunch. You gonna thank me? <laughs> Probably not. Well, she's gonna be full today. Gun is not loaded by the way. For this guy, you guys are freaking out. So that's fantastic. Etching in slugs. Actually, no, sorry. Keep saying. I shot so much of etching in. These are the NSA slugs. So the tinier, the 17.5 grain. Rock at 135. Checking my windage and point of impact. That's a lot of windage. Down the range, the wind is picking up now. I just crony um, my M60B. So back in uh, February, the last time I uh, did my crony, the slugs, the 17.5 grain NSA slugs were going at 895 feet per second average. Today, it's going at 930. So. 33 uh, feet per second increase in two months so because we have warmer temperature now and uh, the speeds have gone up as i suspected last time i was here all my point of impact was high my 30 yards uh, zero check so that means i have to go in and readjust my aim point for each of the ranges based on the 930 feet per second uh, speed which i'm going to use the uh, element ballistic calculator and then uh, do another basically a marking on my turrets here so I'm gonna do one just to confirm and double check it maybe um, check it on the range with the uh, on my target box just to confirm the point of impact if indeed has moved higher or lower whatever right in this case I think it's um, higher so I gotta really dial in and adjust it otherwise uh, as the weather get warmer I'm going to miss my long shot it is getting warmer and I'm sure my speed is uh, staying consistent about 9.30 ish and based on my old endpoint, I'm slightly high so I gotta make some adjustment let me try that again but I'm gonna do a little bit just one click down and see if I make any difference 90 I'm gonna do one click below my uh, original no I'm missing them well, I gotta figure out my uh, true point of impact now, so stay tuned. I was talking to the farmer uh, when I showed up today, and um, he told me this morning actually there were two coyotes at 8 a.m. Um, they were by the um, 
the baby calves there so he told me that they're around so I have to come back here and uh, give it a try I haven't shot one here since I think three years ago the, the problem with this farm here is it's so big they do have a burial area which is out in the field so it's such a vast area so it's hard to ambush the coyote without being seen so that's why it's kind of tough but then he said they've been active so I might have to set up some trail cam in the area and see um, if they frequent what time and maybe one of this night I have to come here and um, try to stalk on one so yeah it's kind of exciting but at least there's another op opportunity to get another coyote so stay tuned Well, that was a great day of shooting, my M60B, um, perfect. I got a lot of shot, a lot of uh, long distance shot and close shot at 45, 50 yards, so it's really good. I did have a few misses at about 95, 100 yards. That I think is due to my incorrect point of aim uh, on my turret because of the increase in uh, the velocity of the slug due to the warmer temperature. But we're close. Um, either that or just uh, my operator's error, my judging the wind incorrectly. The wind is, is blowing hard and they would stop. So it, there's some intermediate uh, wind as well. I don't blame it on gun. I think uh, it's just, uh, just me missing the shot. But um, all in all, it's a very great experience with the M60B. And um, surely it's, it, it is a great shooter as I already knew before from all the target shooting. So now today I was able to use it on the field uh, real life testing really and so far it did quite well so as you can you saw the footage obviously i'm going to be editing it um there's some nice nice shots so anyway thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one cheers